Yeah, tourism is a really good vehicle and conduit for developing people-to-people -people links. Uh, I think tourism in general is obviously a really good platform for people from all over the world to come and, and visit Vietnam and see what the country has to offer, the range of natural beauty uh, to experience the culture. But community-based development, which is at the heart of, of the project that we're doing here in the northwest through Australia's uh, GREAT program, the Gender Responsive Equitable Agricultural and Tourism Program, uh, really places communities at, at the heart of the tourism model. And why that helps to develop people-to-people -people links is that um, tourists can come and, and not only enjoy the environment, but they get to meet the people, they get to experience what the community has to offer, they learn greater insight into how people live day to day and I think from that they develop a much stronger connection and knowledge and understanding of, of the country that they're visiting. We think that uh, there's a real market for community-based tourism in places like Vietnam now and people are looking for something that's a little bit more out of the mainstream and they're willing to travel to locations that offer something a little bit different and where you can have a people-to-people a, a -people connection rather than just coming and, and consuming and spending money and enjoying the environment. So part of our project is really to try and develop uh, these community-based systems and to really try and, and give a leg up, particularly to uh, predominantly a, a female workforce who, who we know work in community-based tourism in Vietnam and particularly here in the northwest. So the GREAT program is really focusing on a few different things in the northwest in both uh, the agricultural and tourism sectors. For tourism in particular, um, the project, or there are 12 different projects uh, working across um, two provinces, Sun La and Lao Cai. And importantly, they focus on upgrading a range of, of services and facilities. So it's developing homestay infrastructure. It's looking at diversifying community-based services as part of the tourist package. Uh, and I think most importantly, it's, it's developing um, cooperatives and particularly women-led cooperatives who are able to contribute to a broader tourist experience. And, and I think ultimately it provides greater access to capital. And we know particularly for small and medium-sized enterprises in Vietnam, one of the big constraints to business is just getting access to capital uh, and providing uh, risk uh, protection and risk um, management for financial institutions so they're prepared to give small holders the startup capital, to the, uh, capital they need to actually enter the market. So the GREAT program is really focused on that and again uh, a big part of, of what we're trying to do is, is to empower women in particular uh, to be part of the decision making processes in their, in their businesses and in their industries uh, but also because uh, predominantly the workforce in the tourism and agriculture sector in the northwest. Uh, is, is predominantly female, as high as 80 or 90 percent in a lot of instances. So it's really exciting to come and see commercial enterprises uh, like the one we're sitting here to today um, uh, and seeing how it's, it's helping the farmer groups and hopefully that will, will contribute to attracting greater numbers of tourists who can then come and benefit from that community tourist model.